Uh, Schmitz, could you show us once more when you selected two keyframes and then the time between the keyframe before the... Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, so we're going to do everything start to finish on how to make a cam path and edit the tick, the ticks or the time between each anchor point. Okay, so Merv, cam path, add. All right. Now, you see that? That's because I have Merv, cam path, draw, enabled, one on. Okay. If you want to turn that off, draw enabled, zero. Okay. Keep it on for now. All right. So let some time go. All right. Let's just rise up, watch these two uh, play with each other here. Um, time, right? Add time, go down. And do you see this? This is a glitch in Counter Strike. I hate it. It's annoying. You see how he's that that guy's running right now, right? But it looks like he's walking really fast. That's a glitch in Counter Strike. Want to know how to fix it? Just go back to the beginning of the round. Demo go to tick make, causes that glitch, and they still haven't fixed it. It's really annoying. All right, so Merv, cam path, print. Okay, so our first tick is at 41.76. Second tick, 42.98. Third tick, 44.23. And fourth tick, but it's actually labeled three because that's how indexing works in programming. You start at zero and go up from there. 46, 43. Okay. Now, let's take a look at it. See what it looks like, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to go to demo, go to tick, 41, 76. All right. We want to get out of Merv underscore input camera. So we hit escape. Now we're in our cam path. Why we're in our cam path is because we did more Merv cam path enable one. All right. If we want to disable that, Merv camp path enable zero, but we don't want to. We want to look at our camp path. We're camp path enabled one or enable, not past tense. Okay, so let's watch it. Okay, cool. That's good, but I don't know. Maybe I want to slow down the time between one and two, right? Or maybe I want to speed it up actually. So in between, again, Merv, input, camera to get out of this. Okay, in between this anchor point, labeled one, and this anchor point, anchor point labeled two, it's too slow, right? We want to speed it up. Actually, we also want to speed up three along with it, right? So we want two and three to get closer in time to one, okay? So what we do is we Merv cam path select number. So we want number two to number three. All right. Now, do you see how they're highlighted in this aquamarine teal color? All right. Now, say you want to just select two. Then it's from two to two, right? Say you want one to three. One to three. Okay. Unfortunately, you can't select one and three. It has to be one through three, right? So that's how you select, right? Let's go back to just two and three. Okay, so now that those are selected, you want to hit edit, start. Now, edit start works in two different ways. You can hit edit start, and it'll start it from the current tick that you're at, or you can edit start delta minus or plus something. And that'll add time or subtract time from the camp path anchor point that you have selected. Okay? So that's an important thing to remember. So um, how much quicker do we want one to travel to two? Well, it looks like we have about 130 ticks that elapse. So let's subtract like point two seconds. Okay? So that's what this is. When you're subtracting or adding a delta, or to a delta, you're adding or subtracting seconds, not ticks, okay? So we'll do minus 0.2, okay? So as you can see, anchor point number two used to start at 44.23, right? Now let's see where it starts at after we subtracted 0.2 seconds from it. Merv camp path print. It now starts at 43.96. And if you saw number three was at 46.43, it is now at 46.16. Okay?